Most of your so-called friends are haters who want to see you fail. But I got some good news for you. Haters never prosper. I need every chosen one to put in the comments below right now and say haters never prosper. I need every chosen one to please hit that like button right now because we about to go in. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because most of your so-called friends are just haters who really want to see you fail. Have you ever noticed the higher you go in life, the more successful you become? Where are your so-called friends now? Where are they? It's like everybody just disappeared out of your life. But I remember when I was flipping burgers at Wendy's, selling tacos at Taco Bell, selling shoes at, at, at Chic Shoes. Everybody was my friend. Everybody was happy for me when I told them I got a job. Yo, I just got hired at Wendy's. Everybody and their mama was happy for me. But now they see me all over the world. Now they see me as the greatest motivational speaker all over the world. But where the hell are they now? Where in the blue hell are they now? They are nowhere near to be found. But they're watching your every fucking move. They're haters. They're just waiting for you to fall. A real friend gonna really stick by your side to the very end. A real friend is gonna compliment you every time they see you. A real friend is gonna jump your spirit, is gonna charge your spirit when you need a jump. A real friend gonna pray with you, intervene with you. Y'all hanging out with the wrong crowd, chosen ones. Y'all calling people y'all friend, but when it's all said and done, they never clap for you when you win. You done just got your bachelor's degree. Who came to the graduation? I'm talking to the chosen one. You just got your master's degree. Who came to the graduation? You just passed your state boards. God just blessed you to be a registered nurse. Who called you and said, hey, let's go out for drinks. Everything on me. You just passed your state boards. Let's go celebrate. You just passed the bar exam. God is getting ready to make you a lawyer. But who called you and said, hey, man, I just seen your post. You just became a lawyer, man. Let's go celebrate. Y'all better pay attention to what's going on. The minute people lose contact in with you, guess what? That friendship was never mutual anyway. Because you have to understand that the majority of your so-called friends, which are haters, they always look at their phone 24-7. That's one device. That's one materialistic thing that a human being always have on them 24-7 is their cellular device. You see every text come in. You see every call. You can see every picture somebody sent you. Because your phone is like your lifeline. Without your phone, you feel like you can't get in contact with nobody, not even the world. You need your phone to know what's going on around you. But why all of a sudden the more successful you become, ain't nobody texting you no more. The more you shining bright like a diamond, guess what? Ain't nobody hitting you up calling you no more. The more you begin to glow, the more God begin to... Just continue to just to pour on your life, pour out on your life, get, just continue to bless you. Guess what? Ain't none of your so-called friends, they nowhere near to be found. You know why they ghosted you? You know why they disappeared from you? Because they're in secret competition with you. They're watching you, but they really in secret competition with you. They're questioning God. Why Jordan the chosen one? Why you didn't choose me for the mission, Lord? Because you a hater. Because you not a congratulator. Let me tell y'all something, man. 
We living in our last and evil days. Well, we hanging around the wrong crowd, right? And the only reason why we hang around the wrong crowd or we just hanging out around anybody just to feel complete is because let's keep it real. We don't like being by ourselves like that. We always need to be around somebody to complete us. But let me tell you something right now. I'd rather be all by my goddamn self. I can do bad all by myself than to hang around six, seven people that would drain your energy. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say, I can hang out all by myself. I can do bad all by myself. I can love on myself. I can pray over myself. I can treat myself out to dinner because nobody else is going to do it for you. It's lonely at the top. I never knew what that meant when I was working at Wendy's or, you know what I'm saying, or I was doing marketing or whatever the case may be or shining shoes. I never knew what that meant when they were saying that. But now as God began to continue to raise me, and I thank him for raising me, and I thank you for just blessing my channel. I thank him for the new subscribers. I thank him for the original subscribers, the OG subscribers. I thank God for the WTC family. I thank God for the support, but I realized something. That the more successful I become, the more greater I become, it's going to be lonely at the fucking top. Because everybody can't go to where God is taking you, chosen ones. Stop calling people your friend. They done been left you in the wind. Stop calling people your loved ones. And they really are Decepticons. Stop Going around people trying to feel complete when you need to feel complete all by your goddamn self. Because I feel good right now. I'm always by myself. I'm used to it now. Don't nobody text me. Don't nobody call me. I'm good. But I got the WTC family. If I ever need a friend, I can go to the WTC family. And it's sad because... None of my friends, right? So-called friends, right? None of my so-called friends is a part of the WTC family. None of my so-called friends email me or call me. Let me join your program, fam. I see you doing it. Let me join this program, man. I'm going to support you, man. They're not going to do that. Because they're not successful like you. They would never support your dreams. Because they were too busy demoralizing your dreams. Come on, y'all. These are the same people that said you wasn't going to be nothing. But where are they at now? They're gone. They are ashamed to come into your presence. Because they already know what they're about to get themselves into when they walk into your presence. They know you glowing. They know God is blessing you. They know God is keeping you. Keep doing what you're doing, chosen ones. Keep standing in that prayer closet. Keep putting on the whole arm of God. Because in all actual reality, if God ain't seen you no real friends, or you don't got no friends that's on the same level as you, that's doing the same thing as you, you ain't got no motherfucking friends. They're haters. If you calling people right now your so-called friends, are they doing the same exact thing as you? Are you guys on the same path in life? Are you guys have the same purpose? If not, they're not your friends. You got to get around some people who's about something. Get around some people who's successful. Get around people who's doing it. Get around some people who's higher than you. So you can become greater. Because I'm never too young or never getting too grown or understand what I'm saying to not learn. We always can learn something. We're like sponges. We soak in knowledge. That's if you're willing to accept it and receive it. God will give you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But are you using it? Amen. So just know that the majority of your so-called friends are really haters that really want to see you fail. I'm just, just keeping it real with you. 
they never ever clap for you when you win. They was never ever at your graduations. Think about it. Even on your birthday, they don't even call you on your own birthday. That's when you know. If you got to celebrate birthday by yourself, that's when you know you done made it big. Y'all better pay attention. Because think about it, when our birthday comes, that just means it's a closer day to our grave. To be honest with you, we're getting older. So we celebrate because we know that time is coming. So that says a lot when your birthday comes and nobody going to wish you a happy birthday. You really must be the chosen one. Join my WTC mentor program. Four people just joined last night. Four. God is still multiplying and I thank him. I thank him. It's a lot of people in the mentor program right now. All I need is one hour with the chosen one. Email me right now. Jordan underscore Howard 18 at yahoo.com. You guys would love to be a blessing to my channel, my PayPal, my cash app. It will be in the description below. And don't ever forget, if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. And if you need motivation, and if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wild world, you boy. Because we are the chosen ones. Be blessed.